You trying to afford a bond in today's economy and thinking, well, that can be a daunting task? Well, today I'm going to show you a few unusual money makers to help you get some extra GP to buy yourself a girlfriend or get yourself a bond. Let's get into the video. Do you remember making a cook's fish cake to give to Pirate Pete during Recipe for Disaster? Well, neither do I. But maybe you remember this location we're headed to next. The only other reason why you'd go here is for one lonely elite clue step inside the Mud Skipper's Cave west of the Morgue Camp. I switched over to the Lunar Spellbook for this and filled my rune pouch with Law Runes, Astral Runes, and Water Runes so that I could teleport to the Gazar Teleport. I started the timer just to see how long each run would take and I brought my best strength bonus weapons and armor, along with making sure I weighed less than 27 kilograms. I brought one sip of a super combat potion and drank that before I started. Players must equip the fishbowl helmet and a diving apparatus and weigh less than 27 kilograms to get here. Once you have all that, speak to Murphy at Port Cazard to go diving. He's located just east of where we teleported into. Once I get down here, I collect five rocks along the fence of the crabs. And then I went in. Once inside the fence, your character is no longer swimming, and you can equip two weapons and begin attacking the crabs. These crabs have four drops, but we're only after one, which is the crab meat. You can sh one shot most of these guys, making a fairly quick trip. I just activated my prayer. You can collect about 324 meat an hour and cook them. I actually sent a tip off to Soup OSRS about this moneymaker before I realized that I could actually make my own video. At the time, these were selling for about 5k each, so this method was 1.6 mil an hour, so we're going to see what is that right now. Once I, once I finished with this trip, I collected 27 crab meat and then teleported right back to where we started at Port Cazard. Here, you could find a cooking range right when you tally in. So this is where I cooked the 27 crab meat, ran east towards Murphy again, but before I went to him, I deposited my meat into the bank and then went right back and did another trip. Each trip should take you just about five minutes. If you're potted and using prayer the entire time, you should be able to do this in about 10 minutes. One inventory should last you about five minutes to get down there, kill all the crabs, collect 27 crab meat and cook them and go back. So in 10 minutes, I was able to collect 54 crab meat. All right, and just a few minutes later, it actually just sold all of the crab meat. 4K, got about 200, let's see, 213K, 213K. So if we do some quick math here, 213K times six, about 1.3 mil an hour. So it's a little bit lower than when I sent the tip off to soup. They were selling for about 5K. So I was getting 1.6 mil an hour, but this is still a great, unusual, unknown moneymaker. Maybe some collectors are buying these cooked crab meat. You're able to get about two inventories in 10 minutes. So multiply that by six and you get your 1.3 mil an hour. Our next moneymaker comes from a forgotten spot in Lumbridge, right under the castle, right in the swamp, actually, you could say so. So I start in the Lumbridge basement. It's going to run south until we get into the squeeze through the hole to the swamp. So we're going to run down south till we get to the stepping stones. I'm going to jump over these. I'm going to drink my super combat potion. Drop that. And right here, the giant frogs. So these guys actually drop giant frog legs, which can be sold for about 3 to 4k on the Grand Exchange. They have a drop rate of 1 and 2. So... Every two you get, you're going to get one giant frog leg. And there's three spawns here. Kill about 50, 60 of these guys. Fill up an inventory. See how long it takes. All right. So we actually did just go resupply. We're at now 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Got some food, prayer pot, and healed up. We've gotten 14 frog legs out of 33 kills so far. These frog legs were added back in 2005, and they heal 6 HP if eaten. And they're only used with the raw cave eel at the altar in the creature creation. Other than that, I have no idea why these are priced so high. You can also trade them to Hudo in the Grand Tree. He's on the second floor. He'll buy them from you for 1k each. So no matter what, these will always be 1k. I forgot to mention, do bring a light source down here. I have a candle on me right now. Um, I don't have the internal light source lit, which is at the rope entrance from the swamp. 
and I was able to collect 26 of these and it took me 15 minutes. So it looks like from this price check right here, they're just about 90K. So I went to the GE, I chucked them all in for 3,500 GP, you can see there, and they insta sold. So I probably could have slow sold them for more, but that's okay. So this total brings us to 90K. So if we multiply that by four, which this trip took me 15 minutes, so I could probably do four trips an hour, we get a total of 360K an hour. Not bad for a low level monster that constantly drops these and there's no competition out there. This moneymaker is a classic shop and hop method, except this one doesn't require any hopping. I started in my inventory with one mil GP and a rune pouch filled with law runes and earth runes so I could teleport into Yanel. Once in Yanel, I ran over to Leo's shop and here's where you can find the hunter's crossbow which he sells for only 1300 GP each. He only has two in stock but they resupply in 10 seconds so you can fill an inventory in just over two minutes. I filled up an inventory and then teleported back to Yanel just to save a few steps. Here, I banked all the crossbows and then head right back to his shop to repeat the process. These are in high demand right now because of the Voldemort expansion. You can combine this crossbow with the Sunlight Antelope Antlers to create the Hunter's Sunlight Crossbow. So a new crossbow in the game. I did this method for about 10 minutes. I spent 145k and I was able to collect 111 crossbows. I put them in the GE for 4500 GP each and after a few minutes they all sold leaving me with 1,350k. Subtract out the 1 million we started with, and we're left with 350k. Multiply that by 6, and you get 2.1 mil an hour. This is the highest money maker in the video so far. This is the last money maker of the video. I started my runoff with 1 mil in my inventory. I slow bought the Dark Kebet Fur for 800 GP each in the Grand Exchange. Each glove that we're about to make here requires two furs and 600 coins from the fancy dress store in Varrock, located just a little south of the Eastern Bank. I set a timer for six minutes and was able to make 130 gloves. All I did was run back and forth from the Varrock dress store to the East Bank, banking the gloves and withdrawing the furs each time. You can craft 130 of these in 6 minutes, so I multiplied that by 10, which gets us 60 minutes, which is an hour. That means you can make about 1,300 gloves an hour. In total, I spent 286k buying the fur and turning the fur into gloves. All the gloves sold for 3,750 GP each, leaving me with 1,222,000 GP. Subtract out the 1 million we started with, and that gives us 222k. Multiply that by 10, and we're left with 2,222k an hour, our highest money maker of the video.